Hi everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for the DIY Art Bin store. I am on their design team and I recently got a package. So uh, I thought I would come on and show you the ones that I've created so far. Um, usually DIY Art Bin stores are pretty heavy on the paper piecing. So they do take a little bit of time to put together, but I think they're really worth it because the finished product is super cute and something you just don't find at other stores. So that's why I like to design for them and I hope uh, my projects give you inspiration. I will link all the products that I use down below in the description box. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will try to measure my finished uh, projects and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the first one we have, and these are all Christmas projects, by the way. This one is called the four piece gingerbread face dies. So uh, four piece, I think because it makes four different faces, it obviously has more than four pieces of the die set. But uh, also with DIY art bin store dies, I like to keep them all together because uh, since there's a lot of paper piecing, there's usually a bunch of smaller dies. So I lose smaller dies pretty easily, unfortunately. So I do like to keep them together uh, if I can. The face itself has some embossed features on it, which is nice, so you don't have to draw those in, but uh, it does emboss the area where the nose is, so you can paper piece the nose and it tells you exactly where to do that. There are different kinds of eyes you can make. Um, I made a few different examples that I'll show you, different kinds of eyelashes. This piece cuts out a zigzag in a round shape, so it looks like icing, which is super cute. And then this is also like an icing piece you could put on top. So let me show you the ones that I made. I made three different ones actually, not four, but this is the first one. I really like how the eyes came out. Uh, these are all paper pieced using the pieces from the dies. And I think it, they came out very cute, um, which is important to me. I don't like freaky eyes on my paper projects. I did add a little bit of white gel pen to add some highlight to the to the pupils. And the pupils I cut out of Tonic Studios uh, glossy black paper. The frosting parts I cut out of white glitter paper. Same thing for the nose. The Base base I cut out of almond cream, which is my favorite basil cardstock for gingerbreads. I added some, this is pink um, like chalk from uh, Jane Davenport. I did do some inking on the edges with some Distress Oxide and Vintage Photo. And the uh, aqua color is just like, I think it's a, a basil cardstock in my stash. So isn't that pretty? I just think that's really, really cute. I added uh, another circle um, from a die set that I had in my stash for the background of that. And then the tag itse itself is the round charcuterie board uh, die from Scrap Diva Designs. And I will link this down below because it's just so versatile. I love using this die set and I thought it'd be perfect for this project for this tag. And then I added some Nouveau Drops. That's when I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, just in a white and just, just to add a little bit of interest in between the two different uh, layers. So that's my first one. Oh, let me measure that face. The face is uh, about two and a quarter inches. So very nice size, right? So there's that. And then I made this one. I didn't make into a tag. It's just a, you know, just an embellishment at this point. You can add it to a tag or a card or whatever. So I figured I'd just leave it this way for now to be versatile. But this one, instead of adding uh, the whole set of eyes, I just added one of the sets of um, eyelashes. And I think that looks really cute too. I did add some pink glitter paper for the nose, did the same kind of blush and the same colors for the icing and the paper. And then I used that same white glitter for the background of it too. So very cute, right? Same size as the other one. And then here's the last one. This one I used the icing piece right here on the top of it just to you know try it out. I did use the round charcuterie board or die set for the background of this. I just used a smaller one. So uh, I just mounted the, the gingerbread face onto that. And I cut this out of like a, a silver metallic paper just so it would kind of look like, you know how like tops of ornaments are metallic sometimes. So that's what I did. And so yeah, this could be a tag and an ornament. So 
uh, I like adding things like that to gift packages because they're kind of double duty that way. So that's my first project. Hope you like them. I love making the faces on them. And uh, you know, if you just want to do the eyelashes, that's an easy way out so you don't have to do all the different pieces for the eyes, but it's fun to do too. All right, let's move on to number two. And this one is called the uh, Christmas Layered Gnome. There's actually a few different options on their website. So uh, if you click on the link, you'll see that there are different options for different designs. So this one um, is the one that I was sent. And you know, I'm not a huge fan of gnomes, but I think these came out really, really cute. And uh, gnomes for Christmas, I can get behind a little bit. So <laughs> anyway, uh, again, these have very small pieces. So I just left them all attached, which is fine. You know, when you have to cut out just one little piece of uh, like, if I cut this little gingerbread out of a little piece of, you know, brown paper, then I would just cut a small piece and lay it on top of that and run it through my die cutting machine. You don't have to like, you know, put a piece of paper over the whole thing just to get one little element. But this comes with, um, it comes with the beard and the hat and icing and cute little gingerbread guys. You could use these in other projects too. And all sorts of layering pieces. It comes with um, peppermint candies and mittens and I'll show you. I actually made two of them and I put them together on a card. So this is my card. Um, I cut this out basically of this white paper and the uh, almond cream paper and then just kind of mix mixed and matched the different elements in the two different gnomes. Um, this white paper is from Sizzix. It was in a bundle that came with like glittery purple paper. Um, it was called like Mystical or Celestial or something. That's the name of the paper pack. Okay, so I used that for all the white elements on this. And it's a, it's a nice paper because it's kind of holographic, but you can see the embossing lines in it really nicely too. Um, so that's why I didn't really add um, sprinkles to the icing on the top because you could see the embossed lines and I thought that was uh, good enough for, for that icing. I did add some uh, puffy paint on the edges and then sprinkled it with glitter and then it dried clear but you could still see the glitter so I thought that was cute. Aren't these little gingerbread guys cute? Each one comes with the die set. There's a big one and a small one. So I put a big one in each of the gnome's hands and then the little one sticking out of the icing on the top. So yeah, really, really cute. The peppermints come in two different sizes as well. So the little one is holding one on a stick and then the bigger one is hanging off the end of the cap. These hearts did not come with the set, but I had some hearts in my, <clears throat> in my stash, some heart dies. So I just cut those out, popped them up on foam to make them look like cookies. The gnomes themselves are not popped up on, well, they're not cut out of a foam base, but I did pop them up on foam tape just to you know, raise them up a little bit. And then on the noses, I add a little bit of white gel pen just to give them a little bit of highlight. Um, I added diamond dots for the, for the little buttons on these gingerbread guys. They're like the perfect size. And I added Nouveau drops to the cheeks just to add a little bit of uh, shine and texture to those. I did add some diamond stickles to this icing and to the edge of the tan. And uh, this one I just kind of smeared around so it would just be glittery the whole thing. Um, let's see, anything else I could tell you about this one? The mittens do not layer. Um, the arm cuts out as one piece just like this, but if you wanna make separate color mittens, just do what I did, cut it out of a different color paper and then just cut it off um, where the like embossing ends on the mittens. And then it looks like you have separate mittens. And yeah, this stamp actually came from a new stamp set that I hauled recently. This is not from DIY Arpen Store, but I thought it went perfectly with like the baking theme. This is, uh, these are two different dies that I had in my stash as well and different kind of like pastel-y papers. And then the inside, I used some pink kind of snowflake paper and then I just added a little like almond cream heart on the, uh, on the bottom. I didn't add a sentiment because I'm not sure what to put there, especially since there is one on the front. But I thought this was adorable and I hope you like it too. The gnomes themselves are about three and a half inches long and they're about one and a half inches wide. So yeah, two little gnome friends. I do like those guys for sure. So that was project number two. 
let's move on to number three. All right, this one is called the, well, it didn't really have a clear name on the website, Christmas New 2022 Gingerbread. So this one has a couple of different options as well, but this is the one I was sent and it comes with this mitten that has all these pieces that like um, can be put in there and uh, paper piece different colors. It comes with a candy cane that you can paper piece the stripes if you want, but I just drew them in with markers. I'll show you that of course. And um, let's see what else. And then there are these, these layering pieces for the candy cane. Oh, wait a second. I think these dash lines are for something else. Maybe for, I don't know, somewhere paper piecing. And this is the candy cane, but I didn't use either of them, so I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, this is like a greenery behind the mitten. Cute little gingerbread guy. I'll show you. It's easier to see once you, um, you know, see the project. So I made a prim looking kind of tag. And this is the one I made. Isn't that face so cute on him? I did add some Sharpie. Yeah, just some black Sharpie to the eyes. They are embossed, but I just wanted to define them a little bit more. So I did add that to the gingerbread, but the smile is already there. It's pre-embossed and I think it's a really cute little smile. Um, yeah, see, that's where the back greenery comes in. And for the candy cane, instead of paper piecing, I just cheated and used a red and white striped paper. So I didn't have to do any paper piecing there. I did paper piece the, the top of the mitten on, which it does come with the die set, which is nice. And there's the star that it comes with as well. This Christmas Wishes is, um, I got that, for, that's a Tim Holtz sticker actually. And I just uh, threaded a star button with some pearl cotton and hot glued that on. The papers I used are all from Maha Designs for this. I like to use them for like, uh, primitive country kind of projects and the scale of them is nice and small which is good for a embellishment this size. Let me measure it. Um, it's going to vary a little bit depending on how far in you put them into the mitten but for me it's about three and a half inches long and a um, little over two well you yeah, know probably about two inches wide. And then for the tag I used another Scrap Diva Designs tag which is just a, oh, I love these tags and I will try and link them down below too. It has the scalloped stitched edge. And I did add some vintage, um, I think I used, actually I think I used tea dye for this one, not, not um, vintage photo, distress oxide. And let's see, I did add some glue for the tops of the uh, different pieces and then sprinkled them with some fine clear glitter just to kind of give them some shine. You know, you need a little shine on your Christmas decorations. So this is another example that would be a great gift tag and then would also be great to hang on a tree. I did punch a hole with my crocodile and added some twine. So yeah, that was my little tag with that set. I think it's adorable. You could add other things into here if you wanted as well. Uh, the gingerbread, you kind of need to have him sticking out of some something because the bottom of him on the die set, it's not really completed, but. Um, it's fun to have a separate gingerbread die that is made to stick out of things. So that's my third project. And let's move on to number four. This one is called the Christmas Lady. And there are a bunch of different Christmas ladies. But this is the one I was sent. Um, where are you, Christmas Lady? Oh, here you are. Okay. So this is a die set. And it's like a vintage... Um, vintage lady. The the picture on the website is like an illustration. So they made a die out of the illustration. And it does emboss these leaves on here. But um, I didn't really do anything with those. I actually covered them up with something else. So I'll show you that in a second. It comes with the face and uh, legs and shoes and like, you know, the uh, layering pieces and everything. This is a candle, which I didn't actually use, but you'll see it on the picture on the website. So let me show you what I made. Move that over. I, I made a really pretty card, I think. So I decided to make it in retro colors, you know, like pink and aqua, like I always do. But uh, <laughs> this is the this is the little girl. And if you look on the website and on the dies, the face is kind of embossed. But I was not going to mess with trying to draw that in because it's got like little layering pieces, but. Um, yeah, I, uh, I didn't want to deal with the eyes for that one. So I just drew on some black 
eyelashes like she was looking down, which worked out fine because the little parts that emboss for the eye, sorry, I bumped my tripod. Um, it just kind of looks like her eyelid. If you could, let me hold that steady. So I added a little bit of like a, like a um, tan eyeshadow color to her eyelids just with an alcohol marker. So I think, I think it looks good. And then the um, lips and the cheeks, I did use alcohol markers to color those in as well. For the like hand muff and for the hat, I used white glitter paper. And for the dress itself, I used, this is that new paper pad I hauled last week. It's by, um, it's at Swedish paper. Um, it was called like Fika, I think. So it's really pretty. It's got small, small uh, patterns on it, which is nice. And then, yeah, to cover up those embossed leaves, I added a real piece of rickrack and I just glued it on with Fabri-Tac. I added a bunch of Nouveau drops around that. And then for the buttons on her dress as well, I added like a darker color alcohol marker on the, um, you know, on the edges of the dress and on the, um, bold lines. And then I did add some Nouveau Drops Aqua Shimmer, um, not Nouveau Drops, Nouveau Aqua Shimmer, which is like their Wink of Stella pen. And I added that in different areas on the girl. Um, those are her cute little shoes. And um, it was it was pretty simple to put together. Besides the face issue, I think it's a really fun dye. Um, if anyone else does it, with like actual eyes, please tag me. I would love to see how uh, somebody actually does that. Um, the snowflakes are from Tim Holtz. These are like the cut and emboss kind of dies that they have. And this one comes with a large and a small snowflake and they cut out and emboss at the same time. And I use that same like holographic white paper that I used in the um, first project or, uh, or second project. And I think they look really nice on here. Kind of looks like she's sitting on a big snowflake. And then I embossed this pink shimmer paper here with the snowflake embossing folder. And then the whole thing is a like a aqua color uh, card base, which is also a shimmer. So nice and retro, right? She measures approximately, cause you can, you know, put her legs further or, you know, whatever. Um, that's about, four and three quarters, a little bit more than that. And then wide, she is um, three and three quarters. So this is about an A2 size card. So she fits really nicely, nicely on that. And yeah, I think it's really pretty. That's the inside. I had this piece of ephemera. This is from Frank Garcia. And I thought the colors worked really nicely. I was trying to find a way to put it on the front, but it just wasn't working out. So I put it here. Uh, it's not a it's not ephemera, it's a chipboard piece. And then just added a pretty paper on the inside. And yeah, there you go. All right, so that is project number four. Let's move on to the last one for this video. This one is called the Santa Gnome Teacup. And um, there are other ones on the site, but I think this is the only one in this listing. It's super cute. Also a gnome, but I think he's adorable because it's uh, supposed to be Santa, so I'm okay with that. Comes with the cup itself that has an embossed heart on it, has an opening there so you could stick all the little things inside, and uh, cinnamon sticks, I love that. So you could use this for other holidays too. It doesn't have to be just Christmas. You know, you could add the cinnamon sticks, maybe add like, you know, some like pumpkins or something in there, make it a fall themed. But I did make it into the Christmas theme. So let me get that for you. And this is a tag and this is kind of little, but adorable. So um, I did go with the pink and aqua with for this one, but I do love red with aqua too. So I did add some red elements as well. Isn't he so cute? On the example on the website, the beard is sticking inside the cup, but I didn't want to cover it all up. So I put it on the outside of the cup. So let me just measure this while I'm thinking about it. This one is smaller. It's about three inches long by two and a quarter inches wide. So um, yeah, and it embosses the hat with that like kind of a grid um, pattern on it. And it embosses the beard too. Um, the little um, smile is embossed too, but I couldn't really see it. So I just went over it with a uh, black micron pen. And then the nose, I did add a little um, alcohol marker on the outside of it. 
I added some white gel pen to add some highlights. The cinnamon sticks, aren't they cute? That's made out of a brown shimmer paper. And then these like sprigs and the berries come with the die set as well. So does the candy cane and it comes with the mittens. The Ho 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 is from Hobby Lobby, I believe from last year. They had like a pack of these little like wood pieces and it was already painted, which was nice. I did add some glue and some glitter to the tops of that. Um, actually, I think this is all, yeah, this is just stickles. So uh, stickles in diamond to that, to the um, tops of the mittens, to the edge of the beer, to the top of the candy cane. And then I used white glitter paper for the uh, accents on the hat as well. And I added a red diamond dot for the little holly berry there. I think that was a perfect scale. The cup I cut out of some, some like, and pre-embossed paper from Joann's. And I did cut that out of um, some two millimeter brown foam as well and popped it all up on that. Um, this tag I have in my stash. I'm not exactly sure where it's from, but if you're curious, let me know. I'll try to find out. I added some white snowflake sequins uh, all around the edges, just glued those on. Not the edges, all around the tag and glued them on. And then of course I added a I lay it with my crocodile and some satin ribbon. The back I just punched out of some um, another layer of craft paper just to give it some stability. And yeah, that's my little tag. Isn't that so cute? Oh, I love making tags at Christmas time because like I said, you know, they're great for gifts and then they themselves are a little gift too because they can go on the recipient's tree. So. Anyway, those are my projects for today. I hope you like them. Uh, all links will be in the description box. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them if I can. Thanks to DIY Arpen Store for sending these to me. And I do have some more to work on. So I'll get back to you once those are complete. All right, everybody, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.